Hey everyone, I'm just going to do another really, really quick tutorial, mainly because I want to see what the colour copper mine pigment turns out like as an ombre effect over black. So I will be using, obviously, my C and D shellac in Blackpool. The new uh, C and D additive, um, the pigment effect in copper mine from the C and D Open Road collection, and I've just got my brush from the craft shop. And let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done two coats of Blackpool on my ColourPop, and this is the inhibition layer of the second coat. I've decanted some of the copper mine into my lid because number one, I'm accident prone, and number two, it's a waste of product if you dip it in the uh, if you dip your brush in your pot, where you lose too much. So I'm just squashing that a bit so that it's round up. Just tap your brush, get rid of the excess. And then, now are we going to do it at the top or are we going to do it at the bottom? Hmm. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do it at the bottom. I probably would do this from the cuticle downwards, but from the... No, no, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so starting at the cuticle area, press the... Ooh, there you go. Slip. This is why you anchor your finger. So we're going to have a half and half nail now by the looks of it. Wow, this is stunning. You can use these as eyeshadows as well. These are cosmetic grade and they are stunning. If you put a bit of MAC Fix Plus on your brush, on your eyeshadow brush, you can pop it on your eyes and it comes out absolutely amazing. You get an absolutely gorgeous colour. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of fallout from this that's going over onto the black. So you're going to have like a... Um, snowflake effect I guess okay so that's pressed in and I'm just going to clean it up and I'll be back okay guys now as you can see I have done a bit of cleaning here and you can remove any excess so what I've got here is a little medi swab which you can buy from a pharmacy it's soaked in alcohol and what I am doing to clean up the fallout let me just see if I can zoom in I'm not going to do it too much more but you can see there's a little bit there I am anchoring my finger and I'm just very very lightly wiping away with my medi swab just very very lightly because obviously you'll lose a bit of the black as you can see I've got a bit of the black on my colour pop I'm not on my colour pop I'm on my medi swab sorry I'm just bleh, talking for the sake of talking okay so then you've got this effect which is a lovely two-tone effect so after this you would get your top coat so here is my top coat now when you use a pigment you need to float your brush so i would turn it this side for the sake of the video make sure you've got a nice healthy amount of top coat on your brush and anchor your finger again and float the brush so it is almost parallel to the color pot the reason for doing this is because the additives will get brush marks if you jab your brush into it you will get a you see where the brush has been and it just looks terrible it ruins the ruins the effect completely so float over very delicately sorry my light's not very good here and where you have gone over and cleaned so I'm just getting a bit, bit rid of rid of a little bit of my top coat there because there is quite a bit on there removing any excess and I was in the middle of saying something but I've completely forgotten what I was going to say but there you go so I'm just removing any excess now now I do use a different top coat than I would with my plain shellac I use a different one for my glitters and I use a different one for my pigments because there's nothing worse when you come in for just a plain shellac and you end up with glitter or sparkle on your nails that you didn't want in the first place. So that is your lovely two-toned effect. I'm going to pop that in the lamp and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. It's been in the lamp for two minutes. I've removed the inhibition layer and how gorgeous is that copper mine? It's absolutely stunning. So as I said before, it's copper mine. It's out the CND Open Road collection and it's just not going to focus. So I'll just move it there really really pretty copper pigment and 
it looks stunning over black, it would look stunning over purple. Actually, the colour that I'm wearing now, which is Dark Dahlia, it would, again, look stunning over that. Um, now, I did deliberately not seal a very small amount of this nail at the top so that you can see what happens if you do not seal your nail properly. When you remove the inhibition layer, you will be left with this gap. So where it's black showing there, that's not sealed properly. So as you remove the inhibition layer, you also remove the unsealed additive. So that's one thing to look out for because it's not particularly easy to fix that. Okay, guys, so I hope this helps you. Just a nice, simple nail art. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.